Happy 100th anniversary, John Wesley Amy Zion Church. Thank you for being God's blessing. Thank you for blessing me, comforting me, and keeping me all these years. And thank you for growing God's people for ministry. It's been truly a blessing, and I thank and appreciate God for all you have done for me. God bless you all, love you, and have a wonderful 100th anniversary. To Pastor Young, the officers and members of the John Wesley Church, I'm Dr. Reginald Broadnax, and I congratulate you on 100 years of ministry to the west side of Detroit and the Southfield community. I am who I am because of the ministry of the John Wesley Church, and I thank God for your influence in my life. May God continue to endow you with such grace that you may be a blessing in your ministry in years to come. Good afternoon, John Wesley Church. To Pastor Austin Young, Senior Pastor of John Wesley Amy Zion Church in Southfield. To the minister of staff and members of that great church called John Wesley. It is a pleasure to take this moment to reflect on my ministry there while I'm on this gospel journey. John Wesley Church has helped me immensely in my growth and solidarity in my foundational faith in God. From the wonderful pastor who advised me to cut my hair to reshape my image, the Reverend George Stewart, to the wise pastor who taught me to focus on my ministry and my spiritual gifts, the Reverend Louis Beale, to the astute pastor who allowed my wings to expand and grow that I may soar to greater heights in the pastoral ministry, Reverend Al C. Hamilton. To every person who deposited wisdom and knowledge into me, I thank you for your confidence in me and giving me a home and a second love. As John Wesley celebrates God, ministry, and fellowship for a hundred years, looking forward to the next. May God continue to raise up a standard in you. God bless you and keep you. Much more Reverend Dr. Anthony Johnson, pastor of Greater St. Peter, AME Zion Church, the House of Hope. Shalom. Congratulations to you, John Wesley, on 100 years of active ministry in the Greater Detroit uh, community. Uh, you serve well, and you continue to serve, and we congratulate you and your present pastor, Dr. Reverend Young. Uh, we certainly thank and praise God for your contributions. And now, as you go into your next 100 years, we pray that God will continue to bless you and keep you. I am the Reverend Harry Spigner, speaking for the entire Spigner clan. God bless and God keep. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. For John Wesley Amy Zion Church, want to say congratulations to Reverend Austin Young and to the members, um, the place where, amen, I gave my life to Christ and grew up in ministry. So I thank God uh, for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Continue doing what you're doing. Good afternoon. I am Rosemary Paris. And when I think about John Wesley, I think about 10 decades. The Lord has kept us. He has provided for us. I want to, I remember each of the bishops, the presiding elders, the pastors, the laity, and the people who supported us through those decades. I want to say that John Wesley, when we, things were not good for us through our ups and downs, God kept us. And when we needed assistance, he provided for us. So on today, I want to thank you for being faithful and obedient. Thus, we now worship on a campus at Evergreen, and 11 Mile, fully equipped to take care of God's children, mind, body, and soul. To God be the glory. And I want you to know that I am proud to
to have been a member here sharing with you for 54 years. Keep going forward. God will direct you and provide for you. To God be the glory for what he has done for you here at John Wesley with your beautiful campus and feeding his sheep. May you continue the journey. And I am so proud to be here to see 100 years and to celebrate. It's time to celebrate. Walk on, God is with you. To God be the glory. Greetings to Pastor Austin Young, to the ministers, the officers, and the laity of the John Wesley AME Zion Church. Pastor Young, thank you for allowing me to make remarks as the presiding elder on this major milestone in the life of this ministry. Congratulations to the John Wesley Church on 100 years of service to God. John Wesley, you have been a blessing to the communities that you have served in for 100 years. This church continues to make an intentional impact for the kingdom of God. From your inception as a ministry meeting in the home of Mr. and Mrs. Robert Ellington Sr. and the homes of other faithful members, you were impactful. John Wesley, you've also had amazing leaders who were impactful as well, starting with your first pastor, Reverend J.W. Coleman, and the other pastors, such as Reverend C.M. Metcalf, who led the church to acquire the basement unit on Beechwood, and then Fred Porter, who led the modifications of the building and took this church from the basement to a new sanctuary. You were blessed with Reverend William Parrish, who came to you from Gary, Indiana, St. Luke. I spent some time at the church that Reverend Parrish built on Jackson Street. Reverend Parrish led the congregation in the, re, the renovation of 6419 Beechwood. John Wesley continued to strive and thrive under the leadership of Reverend Carol Felton, Reverend Sherman Lewis, and Reverend George Stewart, who still has family here at John Wesley today. In 1992, after the retirement of Lewis Beale, John Wesley was blessed again with the arrival of an innovative pastor, Reverend Al C. Hamilton, who in 2001 moved the John Wesley family from the Beechwood location to its current location here in Southfield. Pastor Hamilton served this church with distinction for 29 years. In 2021, Pastor Hamilton passed the baton to a gifted rising star in our church, Reverend Austin J. Young. Pastor Young has quickly taken the John Wesley family to higher heights with his innovation, the ideals that he has, his never-ending energy, and his strong work ethic. John Wesley is one of the strongest multi-generational churches in our conference and, dare I say, in our connection, and it's only going to get better. Congratulations again, John Wesley. For 100 years, you have done ministry well. If the first 100 years of ministry is any indication of what's next for you, the next 100 years of ministry is going to be awesome. And I look forward as your presiding elder to seeing what John Wesley is going to do in this community and the impact you're going to make for God as you serve this present age, your calling to fulfill. John Wesley, have an amazing time of celebration. God bless you and God keep you.